if you're attempting to like ethically advertise to women, you need to make sure you've got women in-house there, in pre-production, making sure that everything is appropriate and empowering. Fresh new jacket. Personal fitting. Yeah. <laughs> you know like when you go on night and you look at the size guy and it's just like a big table and you don't really know what's going on. North Face do it so differently. They ask for your weight, your height, your age, which shape your belly is, bit of belly. And then they give you a percentage. So they go, you I was an 80% large, 20% extra large. Have you seen the new ASOS thing where it's like you can pick a different model? So you literally pick the model that looks like you and then they just fit so, so close to anyone. Like a super rich guy in a t-shirt and you're like, why doesn't <laughs> So Pretty Little Thing, they had one video banned. First reactions, is it shocking? Um, I was expecting worse when you yeah. said it was banned, mm. to be honest. Uh, but maybe is that because I'm desensitized? So many things that, have, that come into nice play that it's, mm. it's actually, it's hard to say like, oh yes or no, you know, it's like, yeah, I don't know. What's the uh, target demographic for this? 14 to 24. 14, <laughs> hold on, 14 to 24. It's just not an appropriate ad for a fashion campaign. So, there's a very strange shaped and very vivid coloured box here. I wonder what it could be. Do you have any idea what that is, Charlie? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Is he, do you have any assumptions of what this might be? I don't know, you see, if I could read. So it says, it's picture to puppet. Puppet? puppet? Yeah. Let's just open it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, that is no. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Rupert Rickson, young filmmaker from the area. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be in a tank. <laughs> Why do you think that online retailers are um, twice as racy as high street brands? So, I'm not really quite sure. I know in, in some ways people still see the internet as like the wild west of advertising. Anything goes, yeehaw, baby. And TV <laughs> has been so heavily, it's so monitored and so controlled. Um, and you can't regulate the internet which is a huge thing. So all these brands that have a bigger audience online have a bit more free reign to kind of do what they want. And if they see that they're getting more success from sexualizing stuff, then that's where they're gonna go, right? It's uh, mm -hmm. less hoops to jump through. Hi, hello there, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Rupert, I'm a filmmaker from the Hertfordshire area. He's never had a pair of shoes that night. And how complimentary is that hairline? Uh, no. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry for interrupting this very important meeting with this. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, yeah. guys. Hope you have a good productive Bye. meeting. There are companies out there that are now coming out and getting a lot more exposure and getting a lot more traction for being diverse, but in a good way. You've got companies like Universal Standard, for instance, who like use a variation of women, but they don't have to like show women in a way that's like highly sexualized in order to get people to love it. I think it's a shame that advert was banned. I think because it's such an opportunity, isn't it, the internet, in terms of like what we can do. It's way more an opportunity to kind of like fix some of the wrongs we've seen. If you're attempting to like ethically advertise to women, you need to make sure you've got women in-house there, in pre-production, making sure that everything is appropriate and empowering there. Because are you ever going to be able to do things correctly as a man? Debatable. I think you need to have diversity in here and you need to have women working with you to make sure that things are correctly out there, not coming off in the wrong way. He's meant to look like me, and I just feel like he doesn't. If I had a kid, and it came out looking like this, I'd feel very suspicious. Comment below if you think it looks like me. <laughs>